Hello, this is I'm Matit with Samuel Oke, and this channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in this lesson, we will be focusing on partial fraction. This lesson is part of a series of lessons where we learn how to solve fractions partially. And we will be learning the repeated linear factor type. So the problem we have to deal with in this problem is 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 all over x minus 1 raised to the power 3. So we have the denominator to the power of 3. So there will be three factors there. So there will be three constant a, b, and c. And we are going to express them on the other side like this. So there will be a all over x minus 1, b all over x minus 1 squared, and c all over x minus 1 raised to the power 3. So this is how we should do it. Let's go on and um, express that fraction in a way that would have um, the whole um, constant all the constant on the uh, right hand side so then we can go on and get their values and put it back in the space where we introduce them so okay and on this side we have 3 s squared plus 2 all over x minus 1 raised to power 3 at this point you will notice that the denominators are equal we have x minus 1 raised to power 3 on both sides of the denominators so now we can go on equate the numerator and focus on that. So we have 3x raised to the power 2 plus 2 equal i into bracket s minus 1 squared plus b into s minus 1 and plus c. So let's open those brackets that we have there. We have i into x minus 1 and x minus 1 plus bx and minus b and plus c. So that would be i into, if you open those two brackets, i into s squared minus x and minus x, minus times minus is plus, plus 1, and plus bx, minus b, and plus c. So um, on this side, we still have 3s squared and plus 2. So let us open that bracket. Please, if you are getting value from this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more educational content like this. So in the bracket on the right hand side we have a s squared minus 2 a x. So, so minus b x minus b and plus a. So we have 3 a squared plus 2 equals a squared so minus 2ax and plus bx then minus b and plus c now we've written it in a way that it would be easy for us to factorize those components to make it comparable to the other side so we have i s squared plus 2i plus b x and minus b and plus c so at this point you will notice that we can compare the left hand side and the right hand side. So we have, um, we want to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. It's important we write this when we um, have this problem to deal with in exercises in exam. So you notice that the 3s squared is equivalent to the ax raised to part 2. So we can conclude that a equals 3. Also, you will also notice that um, we have 0x at the center there because we have x raised to the power 1 there. So, but it's not written because the, you, the, com the coefficient is 0. So, the 0x is equal to the minus 2abx. That's the x raised to the power 1 component on both sides. So, we can conclude that minus 2i plus b is equal to 0. So, if a component of the of um, the equation is not written, then that means the coefficient is zero. So don't forget that, should in case you encounter such. So we have i minus b and plus c equals two. So we call this equation one, this equation two, and this equation three. 
So we have those three equations to deal with. So when you have simultaneous equation it's like this to solve, make sure you use all three equations reasonably. Use them properly or else you could end up getting a wrong answer. So we you have i equals three, right? And the second equation is minus two i plus p equals zero. And the third equation is i minus p and plus c equals two. This is c. So let us put i equals three in equation two. So if we do that, we get minus two into three and plus p equals zero. So minus two times three is minus six, negative six and plus p equals zero, such that p equals six. So let us simply put b equals six in equation two. So anywhere we see b in equation two, we put six. So then we also put a equals three as well. So we have three minus six, right? And plus c equals two. Three minus six is minus three and plus c equals two. So that c equals two plus three, which is five. Now we've been able to get the value of a, b, and c. Do not forget what I told you earlier on that anytime you are calculating, you are trying to solve fraction partially, make sure you don't use the try and error, me try and error me uh, method, type method. At the same time, you are trying to use some equation like this. So let us simply go on and put the value back in the um, original space where we introduce the constant. So we have um, 3 all over x minus 1 plus 6 all over x minus 1 squared and plus 5 all over x minus 1 raised to power 3. And there you have it. That's it. Please, if you get value from this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content like this. The next part of the video in this series will still continue on partial fraction. So, and until next time, keep matching it, keep winning.